Hey dude, what's the forecast supposed to be for today? I think there's a, a good chance of chocolate rain. So dude, uh, what do you want for lunch today? It's peanut butter jelly time! Peanut butter jelly time! Uh, I was thinking more along the lines of a I can has cheeseburger. So I heard today that uh, when Chuck Norris takes a shower, he doesn't get wet, the water gets Chuck norris Oh really? Hey dude, so I wrote a paper for comp. It's an argumentative paper, what do you think? Pirates versus ninjas. Oh, Pwn! All your base are belong to us! Leave Britney alone, man. Coming to you from my new black leather caps that I got on Craigslist. It's very suave. Really cheap. The European Union is looking into setting a uh, default maximum volume level uh, on your portable music devices, the iPods, other MP3 players. They're looking at setting it at about 80 decibels. So it wouldn't be the maximum. You could override it, but that's how they would ship. So for most people, that's what that would be their top out. So. Intel uh, is now testing a new connectivity form called uh, Light Peak to replace USB and FireWire and get this it moves data at 10 gigabytes per second which so is like a ton way faster than USB or FireWire and originally it's gotten words gotten out that this was originally Apple's invention they gave it to Intel to develop and so it may be showing up in Apple computers first as soon as next year. You can actually see in the demo, it's really cool. They're running it on a Hackintosh, which is technically against like all of the rules and stuff like that. Our <laughs> website of the week is... Dippity.com. That's where you're going to find the timeline for all the memes, but it's also got timelines for tons of different stuff. I sat there and looked through the Halo 3 ODST timeline. Uh, it has uh, interactive timelines, which is really cool, so you can just slide across and view videos right there on the website. Um, so we got to see videos of the different memes, rig rolling and stuff like that, and for Halo 3 ODST, I got to see videos of in the making and stuff like that. Really cool, um, a nice time waster for in between classes, in between homework. And our app of the week is actually not uh, a specific app, but it's uh, Apple's collections of apps, which is calling Apps for Everything. And it's a new web page on Apple.com called Apps for Everything, and it has it uh, a bunch of apps divided into about ten different categories. Um, each one, ones like work, ones like work, productivity, family, working out, education. It's got apps, travel things that are their favorites. Yeah, it's really cool to discover uh, new apps, so that's why we do App of the Week. It's true. Laura, are you eating Reese's for dinner? I do. Anyway, we're going to get back to enjoying this couch, so we'll see you later. Uh...